Okay, so I've filled one to 450 milliliters. This is gonna be my concentrate solution. And then I got another 450 milliliters of my wash offs rinse. So this is what I'm gonna to use to rinse off. So I have 450 and 450, that's important. So now we have to weigh out. Let's turn this off, turn this back on, zero this out. <laughs> See here, turn this back on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh out 25 grams. You wanna be you wanna be gentle with this stuff. You don't wanna make dust and get it all everywhere. So I got 7.3. Okay, we got 26.1, just a touch over. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put it on our paper plate. We're going to go nice and gentle with it, like we don't want to make any dust. This stuff does contain harsh chemicals that you do not want to ingest. So now we're gonna put it like this. We're gonna slowly pour it in. Now they recommend your water be warm, be 50, 60 degrees. Mine's a little warmer, I'm probably like 75. Now what I gotta do is I gotta stir this around and this time I'm gonna filter the solution. And what you're gonna do is I'm right next to a window area so what I do is I just open my window a little bit to let any, any debris or anything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir this around until everything's done. And then once I get this all stirred up to where it needs to be, we're going to filter it out so we have a nice clean solution to deal with. So we'll be right back. Okay, so now we got our solution all mixed up. Now it's time to filter it. The reason you want to filter it is you don't want any foreign particulates in there when you're doing it. Um, I used to just skip this process, but I find it helps. So, might as well just do it the right way. And that's the stuff in here. That didn't dissolve. That's why I go a little over. That's why I little shoot a little over. Okay, so now we're gonna let this filter out, and let's see. Our solution's looking nice and clear. That's what you want to see—a nice red juice. All right, let's clean this guy out, and uh, wait for this to filter. Okay, there's our solution after filtering. See how nice and clear it is. There's no particulates floating around in there. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and start stripping our gold off. Okay, so now let's take a bunch of these. I've already done a bunch, but we had a, a viewer request. We wanted to see the actual stuff come off the ram. So just drop these right in there. Basically, I just stir them around, bring them up, bring them down a couple of times. Motion helps. And then, as you can see, let me just, if you can zoom in here, you see the gold up there, and see the gold's all missing. So, that's how quick this stuff works. So I'm going to get back. I'm going to clean all this material off. I just wanted to show you guys how it works because this is take forever to show you guys me processing the whole thing. So I'm going to clean all this material off and then I'll be back with the dirty liquid and show you how we precipitate this out of solution.
Okay, guys, here's uh, all the stuff that we took the gold off of. And, uh, you know, this thing right here, this thing was all gold plated. And look at that. All the gold is gone. And what's cool is I can still sell these on the internet, which is still cool. And look, like, look, look at uh, this guest jewelry. There's still some, you still see some of the gold on there. But, like, most of it is gone. And what's crazy, here's what's nuts about this. So, my solution was so saturated with gold, it stopped pulling gold off stuff. Because I, st I started out with the jewelry first. And then I started working my way into the computer parts. So, this was all, all jewelry. Like, this was like a gold-plated cufflink right in here. Um, like bracelets. This is a bracelet my brother Bob gave me to test out. Um, like, in, like there's still stuff here I gotta reprocess. So, you'll see, like, stuff like this. Um, that's actually some rust that's down there, because I rinsed this stuff off. Uh, gold watches, um, backs of watches. This was a, a gold ring here. There's still a little bit of gold on there, not much. But the solution was so... All, all the CPUs. There's actually some CPUs I got to put back in there. Um, bracelets. Some of the gold. This is this is when it stopped... When it started slowing down with taking gold off stuff. Like, look at this this necklace here. It still has a ton of gold on it. So, I actually got to put that aside. I'll hang this up because that's got to go back in. But... Look, this is all I was able to process. This is it. And so, there was so much gold in solution, it stopped taking any gold, any more gold off. So, I literally have to go back. I mean, the earrings, everything. So, this was all, this is the solution, like, you know, the CPUs, you know how the gold is on them, the chips, all that stuff. So, I was actually shocked. Like, it was, I have some really light gold-plated stuff. Where it was to the point where it wasn't even pulling any of the cheap, cheap electroplating off. And uh, let me go show you. Okay, guys. Now what we got to do is denox the solution. And that's basically so we can precipitate our gold out. This part is very important. So here we go. First off, this has to be warm. You got to always make sure your liquid is warm first. Then you're going to take some stump out. We need to drop the pH to this liquid to a below a 7. We want it somewhere around 6. And don't just wing this part. Trust me. This part is crucial. So you're going to put that in there. See how we got to foam? We got to go little by little because if not, this stuff will foam right over. Go ahead, stir that in there. See that gold color? Stir it around there. Gotta stir it vigorously. What you want to do is you want to get all that sodium metabisulfate into that solution as much as possible. That's why you want it warm so you can dissolve the little granules. See how we're starting to get more bubbly? You want to kind of do this until there's no more bubbles. Okay. I can. I already know we're not even anywhere close to being where we want to be as far as dropping pH. There's a lot of gold in here. I used uh, some plated jewelry that uh, a subscriber had sent me. Thank you so much. Too, by the way. Stir that right in. Now, you got to be careful... Uh, adding this stuff because if you add too much too quickly you can get what's called a foam over and you'll have gold all over the place That's why I got it in this safety the safety pan right here Now we're just going to take a quick look just to see where we're at as far as pH Okay Now let me try to show you guys here Now this is just your regular Clorox tester got it at Walmart. I think I've got it at the, in the clearance aisle for like a buck so, basically, you turn it to the side here, and you're going to see pH. This is the guy we're looking for. We don't care about all this other stuff. pH is what we're, what we're most concerned with. And we can see here that 
this color here is about a 6.2. So we want to be in between this color. And what I like to do is overshoot it because I found if you don't, the the it ha the pH has a tendency to just run back up on its own if you do have a lot of golden solution. So if you overshoot it a little bit, it kind of makes sure it keeps it within that six range so that you get most of your gold out on the first shot. So here we go. Get us a test strip here. All right, we got our test strip. I'm gonna hold it from the back and we'll first make sure we got this all lined up correctly. Where's our pH? Okay, so, yep, there we go. So let's check these out. Okay, yeah, now let's just look at this. Look at how pink that is, man. We're at like an 8.4 right now. So we need to come down on that a lot. So let's keep going. Gotta keep adding. That's why you do it little by little and check it. If you go, If you go too much, it can be disastrous, trust me. Just make sure you, you you keep it where you need to. All right, so let's add some more. And you got to be careful too. You want to make sure. And I'm going to show you what I'm what I do here. As far as I'm not going to use the zinc powder like I've been doing in the past, because I find um, using the zinc powder it just takes way too long. So I'm going to show you guys this new trick I got, and it works really really well. It's just basically stir, stir, stir. See how the, the color of the liquid is starting to change into a gold color? That's what you want to see. See how it's changing from a red to a gold? That's basically that, that that indicates that color you're seeing, that yellow, that gold luster color is actually the gold in solution. Yeah, so um, I had a subscriber send me like a zip ziploc bag full of like just plated jewelry and stuff like that, and I was like, all right, man. So I use that. Uh, thank you to Winfield for hooking me up with all that shit. Uh, he gave me that last summer, and i just been kind of sitting on it, and I was like, you know what? Let me see what we can do. So, let's see here. Let's... let's see what we got. Side, make sure everything's all lined up correctly. I'm in the pH zone. Yep, there it is. Yep, we're still way high. Still way high. Just tested it again. We're still up in the eights, so we gotta add some more. And that's a good sign. That means the more you have to add, that means the more gold you got in solution. Nope, 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 nope. See, this is exactly what I didn't want to have happen. too much too quick that's why you always want to have a big beaker I want to I wish I had a 2,000 milliliter that's what I should have been using there we go Whew. that was a close call so like I said let this be a learning lesson to everybody man just a little bit at a time especially when you got or when you already got some in there I'm doing is trying to get rid of these bubbles.
Sorry about that, guys. It just snowed real hard here. So, it's all that snow is melting. I got a piece of foreign debris in my solution. That's probably for me setting this rod down on the ground instead of setting it on the gold pan properly. You want to make sure you got a spray bottle. Okay. What I like to do is I like to put this on a mist. Try to keep them bubbles down. See how I was able to bring that right down? Look at that. Okay, let's check it again. We still got some reaction going. Yeah, look at that. Sorry about that, guys. But that's what we're talking about. See the color on that now? Let me see if I can... Look at that. We're a little bit lighter than that orange, which is good. So now, we're going to go ahead and precipitate this stuff out of solution. And I'll show you how we do that. Okay, guys. So, what I have here is basically some zinc foil. Let me zoom in on this. I got some zinc foil here and... Uh, it's pretty thick, and what I've done is I made a little square. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this into the solution, and because I'm not using the, the zinc dust anymore. It was, it was a nightmare. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this, and the gold's going to cement out onto the zinc so that we can dissolve the zinc later and recover the gold. So now let's go ahead and drop this bad boy in there. And right away, you can see a reaction. See how it's kind of turning black? See how each little square is kind of turning black? That's the gold coming out of each little square. See, I do that so that each little pocket has its own cementing unit. So that it gets broke up somewhat evenly and I'm able to precipitate the gold out of solution. So now we're just gonna have to let this sit until that liquid is no longer yellow. So it's only been maybe two minutes and I'll just show you what we got going down here on the side. But you can see how that zinc is turning black. That black is gold cementing out. So now we just got to let this run its process. And uh, we should be able to get all our gold out of here. So we just got to let it do its thing and see, see what it looks like. But I just wanted to show you guys that. I thought that was so cool. Well, this is the way I do it. Everybody does it different. This is I find this to be highly effective. OK, 
Okay guys, so here's the rinse solution. This is actually way easier. So this is like basically super easy. So you just take, you know, one spoonful. You don't even have to do anything as far as uh, measuring anything. Just basically put one spoon in there like that because there's not much gold in there. And then you stir it around. Let me get the stir rod. So now you can already start to see it changing color. Okay, so I've added one spoonful of the sodium metabisulfate to my rinse solution. I just stirred it, and now we see that foam. And now all I do is I made another one of these little uh, zinc cone deals. And now all we're going to do is just drop it in there. And that's it. So basically, just like you would use aqua regia, and you would wait for your sediment to drop out overnight, Basically the same principle, but only we're doing uh, cementation. So now we just got to wait and let it do its thing. Okay, guys, so it's the next day. This was our rinse solution. Look how nice and clear that is. Yes. And you, I'll actually show you. You can actually see the gold sediment on, on the actual... Um, zinc it's hard to see but you can see that faint glow of gold right there at the top that's it usually is black but for some reason this time it played it off as like gold but look at how clear that is that was our rent solution remember how yellow that was and now here's our main solution now i know that still looks yellow but um that is also due to the actual solution itself so what I'm going to do is pull all this out of here and put it in the uh, bigger beaker. And then what we got to do is dissolve that zinc um, now so we can get the gold. And this should be good. And I'll test this solution just to make sure everything's been precipitated out of it. So let's get to the next step. Okay, guys, there's the zinc foil. There's just one part, but look at how gold that is. Look how much gold is on that bad boy. And then here's the other one. Try to get the light on there. Wow, look at that, huh? Okay. Now let's go ahead and get the rest of it in there and start dissolving our gold. How awesome is that, dude? All right. I'm excited about this one. This is going to be great. Okay, guys, it's done dissolving. It took maybe, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes for it to dissolve. Now, the last step is all I got to do is run this through a filter, collect all this little black sediment, and melt it down into a gold bleeb. All right, man. I'm pretty excited. I'm hoping this is a good pull. So uh, let's start the filtration. Okay, guys, there it is. All down into the filter. So now all I got to do is I'm just going to wad that filter up here and I'm going to place it in my crucible and then melt it down and I weigh it up. So I'm going to melt it down and after I melt it down, I'm going to put it on the scale to see how, how much we got. So here we go. Okay, now what I do is I, I wrap everything up. I get the paper all nice and tight and I actually also take the cotton filter as well and I wrap it all up and I put it in the crucible and I let it dry out a little bit. And actually, this right here is actually a piece of pig iron uh, from an old uh, mine that I found uh, a couple years back that I thought would be pretty cool just to have. But I use that to kind of keep everything compressed so it'll dry out. And then I can go ahead and start melting it down. So that's the next step. Okay, guys, there it is. She is cooling off right now. So we're going to 
gonna pull that bad boy out of there and weigh her up. Let's see what we got. Not looking too shabby. So let's uh pull it out and see what it is. Okay guys, so what I have done is I've melted it down and then poured it in water. I had a little bit of silver that I encorded it with, and now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of nitric acid to this, let it dissolve all, any base metals, and then melt it down to get a nice pure button. So, let's pour in some nitric. Okay guys, it's the next day, and uh, we lost power up here because we had a bad storm, so I wasn't able to put this on the heat. So what I did is I have water and nitric, and I just basically let it sit there all night long. Uh, I put it in the shed to keep it away from, you know, any wind and stuff like that. But we got one little piece that's still bubbling, just a tiny, tiny bit. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. I'll find it for you. It's that little guy right there. Let me zoom in on him. He's the last of it, last of it bubbling that guy right there so I'm thinking I'm gonna just leave it until there's no more bubbling and then we'll go ahead and put this into our silver cell and melt this bad boy down okay so we're gonna let this finish doing its thing I got some errands to run so I'm just gonna let this sit and do its deal Okay guys, it's all done. Now I, I freaking had some stuff stuck in my melting dish. So it didn't come out as pure as I wanted it to. So it's going to have to be refined. But I'm just going to wait until it's a big blob. And then, uh, you know, refine it again. But that's what we got. 2.12 grams. So I probably got, you know, 12.12 of uh, just crap in there. But not bad, huh? That bad boy. Like I said, I had some crap stuck in my melting dish. So, it got a little jammed up. But, I think I'm out pretty sweet overall. But, uh, what I'm doing is I'm just going to keep adding to it. And then once I get to a certain point, I'll go ahead and put it in aqua regia. But we're probably like, I'd say 10k. 10 to 12k right there um, it would have probably been way higher if I didn't have the stuff in my dish but I'm happy with that 2.12 it's pretty awesome man Ow. thank you so much for tuning in guys and we'll see you on the next one please like share and subscribe